Hi. Uh, let's discuss about why poor are poor. Generally, those countries are poorest who have not included all castes, creeds, religions, sex, and political thought within their systems. They have not only excluded the poor from the main development stream, but also losing chances of own progress. Discriminations, human rights violations, disturbances, tensions, and misunderstandings are usually in those societies where all people are not actively participating for a commonly shared goal, that is national goal. The marginalized group of people who have maximum potential resources could be used as the best nation builders, but unfortunately no one is thinking on this issue seriously. A country cannot have fruits without its root, that is grassroots level communities, which are the strongest foundation for the development process. Poor country systems are complete or incomplete because they have not included all communities and components within the system. The system are made so narrow so that certain classes of people only have direct control over them. Without creative approaches to these problems and the opportunities, we can hardly alleviate the poverty in totality. For this purpose, the most important requirement is system reform that consists of good governance, which means orderly, result-oriented mechanism that means capable in the work and the scientifically improvement and distribution system that means justifiable returns in the action. Those individuals or societies or countries are happier who have liberal attitudes and the systems. Diverse, diver, diversified societies are more successful by mixed cultures, values, cult, uh, practices, sentiments, emotions, opinions, ideas and knowledge are hardly adopted within the system. Cultural diversity refers to non-biological differences between group of people, communities and populations. The liberal diverse societies can easily welcome all the minorities, minority or ethnic groups, castes, creeds, political thoughts and religions within the system. There will be healthy competitions, creative tensions, willingness to be better than others, open-minded for improvements, and more importantly, all will learn and sell, share their values, ethos, culture, custom practices with each other with the national building agenda. Generally, diverse societies are more organized and developed, where there are no minorities, inequalities, social injustices and exploitations. If there is justice, there will be equality in the society. Equality means that everyone and everything can find a place in the society where their specific capacities are usefully engaged. It doesn't mean that everyone is supposed to regard as exactly the same. Systems should be always liberal, people will be laborious and serious. If systems are sociable and kind, their people will be loyal towards the system. If systems, systems should promote good and instruct unskilled people, then people will be enthusiastic. Such positive feelings in people promote the harmony. For where there is harmony, there is love. If there is, there is love, there is peace. If there is peace, there is happiness and high possibility for development and security in every country, society, even in house. On the basis of my 22 or 25 years of developmental experience with different donor agencies based in Kathmandu, Nepal, with, uh, I work with different disadvantaged groups. I am very much optimistic about the backward societies. The backward societies have high potentiality, only they need is basic catalyst. They have so many things except few visionary leaders who can vitally improve the errors in the existing systems in the backward countries. 
The leaders are those who protect the people in the organization or in the country or in the society. If protection is complete, the organization will be strong. If the protection is followed and continued, the organization and its people will be vulnerable. Good leadership is continuous process as the journey of 10,000 miles begins at the first step. It is not only a matter of having the energy and determination to take a step, it is also crucial to consider the op questions to, of how, when and where to take up an appropriate step in leadership process. Moreover, the international development expectorates use certain standards in measuring the poverty level of a nation. When the poverty measuring tools and sticks or yardsticks such as GDP, GNP, etc. are used in ranking the economic status of the country, they may, they may give us fallacious conclusions since they never reflect the overall actual picture of the marginalized communities. Generally speaking, these tools and techniques are based on averages, but in reality, the majority of the resources may have been concentrated in the hands of the limited elite classes of people because of the uh, gap between haves and have-nots. These existing tools or measuring, poverty measuring tools about the productions, they focus on production side, but hardly focus on the distribution side. These poverty measuring tools and techniques never interpret how the goods and services are distributed to the needy communities at grassroot level. As a result, the poverty ranking methodology of nation is surface based, which focuses in knowing about who earns more or less, but it, ne but it never pays any attention in identifying about the consumers more or less. When we start in analyzing a problem from the wrong and or negative aspects, it is obvious, it is clear, we will get negative results or negative finding as well. Right? So, my point of view is, the backward communities, however, are seeking an appropriate tool and platform where they can use their possibilities and also get the real identity in the mainstream of the development process. For this, they need good guidance and advice, but we are not only ignoring their potential energies, feelings, emotions and sentiments, but also we are enforcing our vested interests even though needy people dislike it. The development tool designed for a particular society will give varying results if implemented it everywhere but we are using its negative impacts we are using it for all societies globally so that we are getting its negative impacts poor therefore are real export of their own problems than we so-called international exports since the poor has experience of many ups and downs in their life but the, exp the export is limited only within the certain certain framework of acquired expertise we cannot think beyond his field. Thank you.